Come on, boy.
से बोल कर दलीर आपको चाहो यार ये जो मोती है ना बीच में Catalog number 17. Uh, don't, you don't need to place the bags. Catalog number 17, nine month old male, medium size, strong masculine head, well skull, slightly wet, deep stop, strong muzzle. Correct ears, dark to medium eye, well formed. Very good lip line, mostly dark pigment. Very good neck, good withers. Well balanced front and back angulation. Straight forehand, somewhat flat in the feet. Markings should be a little more clearly defined on the face. A little sooty to the forehand. Correct coat, natural tail, in movement, open and knees, slowly cohort. Very good top line, very good reach and drive, needs a little more forward energy. A little bit interesting for us because we have the, we have the whole spectrum in one class, even if the class is not that big. Uh, if we look at this dog here, uh, nice attitude, moves well, but he's a little bit too light in general. He's more strength to the muzzle, more strength to the top, but some very good details. Things are just good, hair is very good, eye colour, marking are fine. Uh, but I would want a little bit more front angulation and I would like that the dog just have a little bit more touching to the body and especially more to the head at this stage. Um, this dog here, more typical of what we would want when it comes to the substance and so forth. Uh, many pleasing details, but also if you look a little bit closer, uh, there's a few details that we would want to avoid. Like a little bit better feeling. The head is pleasing and refreshing, but the muscle and the build of the joy needs to be more developed at this stage. And perhaps a little bit more strength in the job. Uh, it moves quite well, but sometimes a little bit higher than the top line. So this dog actually, uh, believe it or not, uh, there's two main problems with this dog when it comes to um, the dog and the dog and the dog. When it comes to the genetics, two main problems. And that is that the markings are a little bit uh, too dark on the face, could be a little bit more clearly defined, and the feet are a little bit too open. But apart from that, the dog is probably, probably the best made dog in the class. This dog here, um, an attractive dog, big, very masculine, 
very good substance. I'd like the muscle to be a little bit short, oh, shorter, sorry. I'd like the muscle to be a little bit longer. Be a little bit longer, a little bit overdone. You see the pigment could be a little bit more uh, pronounced. He has light muscle pigment. When moving, he carries himself well for one lap. But then I could see in the back end needed a little bit more drive. And I even had a question mark if he was using his back left leg as effectively as the back right leg. It looked like he was stepping a little bit shorter on one side. Uh, and then when we asked for the second lap, we could see that the dog didn't carry himself quite the same way. As you can see, he's getting a little bit too much slip behind the left foot of the pelvis, which causes them to run into the ground. So he gets a wheelbarrow effect. Walking. So look at this third dog that I said to you. Have many anatomical attributes, lacking in the condition. We can see that his carriage is better than any other dog in the class. He carries his top line better, he uses his angles better. Okay. And we have to go, we have to go. So you can start running your dogs, but maintain your distance please. Start running, madam. Yeah. Madam, number four. The dog is pacing a lot, so be careful. Keep going, keep going, you're right. You're only you. Right. Okay, walk it out. I found myself in a difficult position here. Okay, two more laps. Keep the distance running. And I'm sure we can give them a helping hand. confirmation when it comes to carriage, the short muzzle, the lack of condition and the feet. So today I'm going to give you FG1, very good one, very good two. Very good, three, and good, number four. Stay in your positions. Now the thing is, uh, I would expect this class to be to do 10 more laps. I would, it wouldn't be unusual. 10 more laps would be a piece of cake in most countries in the world. And we can see 
and even the winning dog struggled with two laps at the end. And ideally we want more. We want mental power as well as physical power. Uh, but what so I can say is dog number two, two with, with some, some conditioning and training, training, you can swap that spot very easy. You'll, you'll probably never be able to fix the markings as it is what it is on the feet. But it's the general courage uh, we we'll probably the best with the class. So, okay, thank you for today, everyone. Thank you. Masculine head, broad skull, slightly wet, correct stop, good muzzle, but needs more fill under the eye. Correct ears. Well carried. Dark to medium eye. For a little close set. Light muscle pigment, scissors bite. Very good neck and withers, a little soft and top line. Needs a little bit more development through the fore chest and underline. Stands a little pinched in elbow. Medium front angulation. Straight forehand, a little flat to the feet. A 
little bit sloping through the crew, strong knee angulation, stands a little cohort. Correct coat. Markings. A little sooty on floor chest. Very good base color. Natural tail. In movement, one like this. Little over pull behind due to the pelvis. Pretty good reach and drive. A little loose for an auto. Thank you. They also give a preferable size, which is more or less somewhere in the middle. They give a preferable size to it. But what's interesting is if you think about the various models of dog that may be acceptable according to the description and standard, we all want the same defense. We all want the characteristics that define the breed. Even if you like a really sporty dog and you want it to look like a rock fuller, you still want correct ears, dark. Almond shaped eyes, good lip line, good pigment, excellent well placed markings, good tail, typical coat. So no matter what model of dog you like, everybody wants them. Even if you like these really robust dogs. And it's these characteristics that define the breed. And I like to think of I like to think of the, all of these details a little bit like a flag. often you don't get enough of one model in any class. Now another element that we all want when you want a larger dog or a more small dog, everyone, everyone wants to do They shouldn't get the movement over long legs like a terrier or a side hound. Which sometimes in various cultures we have a tendency to look for straight top line and moderate movement, head high it looks flashy but it's not typical the movement the head should be in front of the body so don't string it off to this class but, but when we look from the outside of this class it's a quite an interesting class we have more masculinity we have more size we have more bone and so forth but but a little bit unfortunate we have a, a some of those characteristics that i spoke about that we are all chasing and missing in some of the dogs the dog on this end here needs more pigment and ideally a little bit better markings to the possum. This dog here, a little bit low and long uh, in relation to his body proportions, but his eye can right. And maybe you guys can't see that, but I can see it from in here. This dog here, you can see, needs to come a little bit more in the body. He's uh, a little bit shelly through the rib cage, but that should come with time. There's a nice head, but his his or lack of pigment really jumps out at us. So that's one of those details again that we are all chasing. If we look at uh, um, this young man's dog here, we see beautiful markings. I mean, beautiful markings, really excellent. But the lip line a little bit too heavy. And once again, sir, I don't know if you just brought this dog a month ago, but once again, needs more muscular condition. Needs more condition. This dog here, very nice moving dog, short and compact, uh, a little bit wet through the head, but not excessive in any way. I have a small question mark about the, uh, the correlation with the eye placement, left and right. I just feel that the left eye is a little bit closer to the movement, but it's very slight, so I didn't mention it in the critique. But otherwise, a nice dog, dark mottled pigment. So, this dog, 
everything is more or less correct with the exception of maybe a little bit of the pigment and it will be really critical maybe his outside proportions quite the length just a tad on the long side sometimes unless he carries himself madam who's that here yeah 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 Catalog 39, two and a half year old male, medium size, compact, good substance, normal bone, masculine head, good 
Rod small, slightly concave stop. Correct length of muzzle. It needs more fill under the eye. Correct ears when carried. Lower eyelids a little loose. Dark brown eyes. The blue the left eye. Due to some injury. Very good lip line, mottled pigment. Excellent neck withers and overland standing. Very good front angulation. Straight forehand, excellent feet. Back quarters need more depth medium angulation a little steep through the pelvis correct coat slightly coarse on the back of neck markings should be a little more clearly defined throughout natural tail in movement A little bit too much lift behind, cycling action due to pelvis. Medium to good reach and drive. Clean coming, thank you. Headlight number 40, two and a half year old male, medium large. Normal substance and bone. Strong masculine head, broad skull. Deep stop. Slightly rounded in forehead. Correct ears, brown eye colour, very good lip line, dark mottled pigment, uh, correction, dark pigment, this is quite Very good neck, sufficient strength of withers, correct overline standing. Needs a little more development to the ribcage and fore chest. A little straight to the front angulation. Medium rear angulation. Feet slightly east-west, stands a little open. Correct coat. Very good markings, that's her tail. In movement.
great arch and top line. Very good reach and drive. Claim coming, thank you. Top line, but carriage is not typical. He has tight head carriage and he moves over his legs. It's because he's a little bit lighter frame, though. But uh, um, he's comfortable with it, but we have to go a little bit more with what's pretty typical. He's more mass, more depth of portals, even a little bit to the head. Um, but otherwise, within himself, he's happy, has harmony, but it's not the point of harmony or change. So today, Madam, for good attitude in the ring, I give you SG. Thank you. 38. The next dog here, we have 39. Uh, this is a nice dog standing. Lost his shape quite a bit on the move, mainly due to the steep pelvis. The steep pelvis, so you all know, creates too much drive into the ground, which creates too much lift behind. And then the dogs get tired very, very quickly because it's a little like a wheel arrow race.
good walk this little Rumi. Rumi dogs. <laughs> I'll put some more